Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you real quick how to put new thread on a machine where you've run out of thread. I've, I've kind of run out on this machine and so what I usually do is cut this first. Uh, don't pull your thread out, uh, just take it out of the machine. Leave it in the machine, cut it so that you've got enough slack right here. Put your new spool on here and I'm going to show you real quick how fast you can change the thread on this machine without having to remember how it's wound through there. Okay, so we've got our new spool of thread on the thread rack and then we've got our what's left over here when we cut the old thread spool off of there. And so now we've got this end here. And so what we're gonna do is we just wanna join these together. You can use whatever knot is gonna work best. You're gonna have some tension on it. So the knot that I usually do is just a simple overhand and then I do an overhand but backwards. I'm sure that knot has a name, but you do it the opposite direction. And then that way, when you pull on this, that knot won't come undone. And so that makes it really nice and sturdy, but you just want to connect the two together however you, you can, and that way they're, they're stuck together. So now our ends are stuck together. What we're going to do is we're going to pull the thread out of the needle, but don't pull it out of anything else. Just leave it there. And then what you want to do is start pulling that thread, and it, it'll take it all the way through. I've noticed on my machine, some machines may be different, but on mine, I need to kind of guide this through that first tension spring, or that knot will hang up, and sometimes it can come untied. It can still come untied all the rest of the way, so just kind of be tender with it. I want to pull that through, and that knot should trace all the way through the machine, and then back through this deal here. Be sure that it doesn't hang up in this little spring right here. Sometimes it'll hang in that little thing. So come on all the way down to where you have the knot in your hand, and you've got, now your machine is restrung with the new thread line. You can cut that knot piece off. Then all you have to do is take your end now, your new end of your string, run it through your needle, and you're ready to sew again. So that's a lot easier way to restring your machine without having to actually remember how it's strung. It is a good idea to take a picture of the way the machine is strung uh, or threaded whenever they first send you the machine. And that way you'll know from the factory the proper way to actually thread that machine and that way you won't forget. So take you a couple photos, put those photos somewhere you can find them just in case. Because I have had that knot come undone and then you've got to try to remember how it's strung. But if you can do a secure knot and just bring that through every time you change the thread color or the thread spool, then it'll save you a lot of time and you won't have a uh, chance miss uh, threading your machine and then having it sewing funny or something like that. So hope that helps. Just a real quick tip. We'll see you all in the next video.